Hi everyone, this is Ada. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is just a chat video on mindful spending. I've been trying to do mindful spending probably for the last four to six months. Um, I'm not an expert. I'm probably not even that good at it, but this year my goal is to be more mindful or take another step or two um, to do better at my mindful spending. So what do I mean by mindful spending? Mindful spending is being conscious of where your money goes so being intentional where you spend my money now previously because i love fashion i'm addicted to it i must admit handbags clothes i love it all um i have more well most of the time i've emotionally spent and i just want to stop doing that or i'm going to always spend i'm never going to be a minimalist i mean it's not in my dna really it's that would be a joke that would be just going too far but what i wanted to try and do is just cut my spending or spend in areas where I really enjoy, which is fashion, but handbags, but say for maybe some more expensive items. So I've written down a few tips. So excuse me if I look down, I'm trying to <laughs> organize my thoughts. Um, so I have made some lifestyle choices. And for me, I have, or my husband and I, he, he's 60 this year or next year. We're New Year's Eve tonight, I'm filming this, um, and I'm 59. So our big long-term goal is to pay down debt. We want to retire in a couple of years, so we need to, you know, get this debt paid off. So for me, that's really helped me because when I think about spending something, um, I then stop in my tracks and go, hmm, no, that's not going to help with the long-term goal. The other thing that's really, really helped me, because a long-term goal, that's a, that's a long time. It's still, you know, quite a few years. I have put short-term goals um, in as well that help me. Now, a short-term goal for me is saving for something I really want, and usually it's a handbag. So on my birthday, we are going away. We're going on a three or four day, you know, trip away. And there will be shops, and I will be buying something. So like I said, I will be shopping but I have been saving for the last two or three months for this trip away and I think that really helps me because what really made me realize that I am such an emotional spender is that I was looking at this dress and it was a white dress and I'm like I'm gonna buy that I really love that and then I said you have Ada you have three or four white dresses in your wardrobe so that really made me stop and think you don't want that you just you don't need it at all. So I then had started to say for something I really want, which is probably going to be a handbag. So having um, a long-term goal is good. Having a short-term goal is good. And that so far is working. Also with my short-term goal, which will be a designer piece, I'm doing a lot of research. So I'm researching, re researching, looking at reviews. I think I've got it narrowed down to two bags. Um, and I'm, I'll be happy to buy that when the time is right and I will have the money there because, you know, I haven't bought the white dress or the blue dress or <laughs> any other dress. Um, let me see what else I've put down. Um, also, when I do spend and I do make a mistake, I um, then realise that then that's taking away from my long-term goal and my short-term goal. So when I have, and I have bought a few dresses, I'm not perfect. Um, I then realized, well, that's less money that I can now spend on my short-term goal, which is probably a handbag. So that has helped me as well. The other thing, I'm oh, sorry, but I'm sweating here. It is just so hot. It is humid. So if I look hot, it's because I am. Um, the other thing, I say to myself, do I really want this item? Because we don't need any of these items. I don't need any of these dresses. I have a wardrobe full of beautiful clothes. I have so many handbags we don't need these things but if i do want it then i've got got to really want it so i in my mind i say to myself do i want that more or that more so do i want to spend on five new dresses or do i want to design a handbag and for me i want to design a handbag and that has really helped me um some of the things I've actually put into place to try and stop me spending is to stop going to places where I'm triggered. So stop going to my favorite um, shopping centers, favorite stores, because I really 
have no control. <laughs> so I'm trying to uh, stop doing that or limit that to a large extent. Um, also, I am, and I'm going to, I haven't done this yet, but I'm going to record my spending. So in my agenda, if I do lapse and buy, say, a dress that I love, I'm going to write that down. So at the end of the month, I'll be able to see how many times I lapsed or how much money I now don't have to put towards the long-term goal and the short-term goal. So that's that, that I think will be... Um, probably an eye-opener to find out how much I really was spending because previous years I wasn't doing any of that and I think um, I really wasn't aware it. Uh, I, I was aware I was spending a lot of money but I think if I added it up I would have been horrified. Um, the other thing I like uh, I have told myself um, and I have done this a couple of times with a couple of dresses sleep on your purchase so if you see something or not sleep on your purchase but sleep on it before you purchase so if I, um, and I have this dress at Witchery that I have my eye on at the moment, it is full price. I've tried it on, I love it. I walked away and I thought, don't buy it, sleep on it. Do I still want it? Yes. Do I want it full price? No. And this is the other thing I'm telling myself. If that dress comes on start a sale, it's full price at the moment. I don't want to buy it for full price. I then can act on it. If my size isn't there, I wasn't meant to have that dress. So that one is still on sort of my list to buy but I'm going to wait and see. Um, what else? Oh, so I have tried to divide my money into areas where I want to spend it. So, you know, it's hard earned money. Do I want to spend it on clothes? Do I want to spend it on makeup? I'm not a makeup girl so it's not makeup but skincare. I do spend a bit on skincare. So I've sort of divided it up and given myself just a little bit of a budget. I'm not sticking to it entirely but to sort of divide my money it just gives me an idea on how much I should be spending in each area because I do love skincare I do spend a fair bit on skincare but really most ladies would know you could spend a lot of money on skincare it can just be over the top so I've tried to pare that down a bit um, the other thing that I've done is I've stopped buying magazines well no backtrack I have stopped buying as many magazines so I now will shout myself a magazine once a month and I say to myself do you want a fashion magazine or do you want um, a home magazine because at one stage I was buying three or four uh, fashion magazines and then a couple of home magazines so now I have to choose some months I have been buying fashion some months home um, magazines but what I've actually found is I don't really read them <laughs> I flip through the pages I think they're beautiful and now that I've been buying less, I don't actually seem to want a magazine as much. So that has really helped. Um, also, I am, and I think I'm going to do this in February and I will blog it. I think we have, it's my birthday in February, we are going away. We are going out with special effect, friends to a special event and I am going to shop my wardrobe. I know, shocked. Previously, I would have wanted a new outfit and I'm not going to say I won't but I think I'm going to shop my wardrobe and wear an outfit that I've only worn probably once or twice so let's see how that goes um, also we have looked at where we spend money on more expensive alcohol going out for dinner we're not there yet we're still spending on that um, but that is some of the things I've put into place um, if you're trying to do mindful spending leave your tips down below because as I said I am new to this and I am just trying to be better and um, if you want to come along with the journey let's do it together or you know it, it, it'd be nice to have someone along that I can do this with because doing this video also is sort of giving me um, more of an awareness to that I have to really stick to it so I'm going to record all my spendings here in January and let's see how I go and I'll probably get back to you and I'll do another video just you know just see how how I've gone but don't forget everyone a love style see you again next time bye